Hello everyone, welcome back to, well, I wouldn't really call this Nanjing, but welcome back to the Nanjing area. I just uh, rode Metro Line S3 to the final station. Uh, the station is called Gaojia Chong, and it is, yeah, it is the middle of nowhere. I can take a look. I'm not sure how long this station's been here, but yeah, it's really far away. I just, uh, I transferred from Metro Line 2 to Line S3, and it took, I don't even know how many minutes, 40 minutes to get out here. This is really, really far away from downtown Nanjing. And the reason I came out here is because this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a really long time um, to just explore, you know, see what the countryside is like just outside Nanjing. And yeah, since you can ride the metro out here and I don't have a car, it's really, you know, convenient to come out here and just check out what uh, this area looks like. So yeah, let's go. Uh, Let's go have a walk and see what it's like out here. Yeah. She must be thinking, what the hell is he doing here? This is neat. The air is really fresh out here. It smells good. Chick, 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 chick. Gonna get lots of weird faces. People are gonna, I don't think they realize I'm a foreigner yet, but as I get closer, they can see that I am not Chinese. Let's see the reaction. Yeah. Nice little friendly giggle, smile there, that was nice. So I looked at uh, Baidu maps and I think, you know, obviously it's, there's some houses here, but further down this road, it looks like there are a few villages. So I'm gonna go wander into uh, some of those villages and see what it's like. There are a lot of chickens just hanging out here. All right, so I just walked down that road for like 500 meters or so. Uh, a lot of nothing, so it seems like we're getting down closer to uh, where more people live And you can see what it looks like here wonder if all the people out here are just farmers or if They're like little factories or anything down here. I'm not sure Interesting contraption there It's interesting because we're really close to Nanjing, you know, the second you leave like the city area um, on the metro, it just it quickly turned into just nothing and a few construction sites along the way, a lot of nothing. Looks like there's a church over here or something. That is a church. Interesting. Did not expect to see a church out here. Yeah. Electricians. So the housing out here is a bit different than I expected. Uh, there were some standalone houses back there, but then there's these bigger buildings. Much longer. Oh, some doggies are following me. Hey, doggies. Hey, pups. Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, very cute, very cute, oh, still following me. What I was saying was that these houses are much different than in my, uh, my wife's grandparents' village. They're like longer and they have like, just like they're kind of all connected together. Different style, very different style. I wonder what these people are thinking. Yeah. Little shop there, selling cigarettes and alcohol. 
one of the things I really love about the countryside in China is everyone's got gardens. This is one thing I really miss, having your own garden. I'm not sure if uh, they're growing food here just for themselves or if they're also selling it, uh, you know, in the city. Maybe some of these people, you know, after they grow their crops, they bring them into the city to sell them or maybe they're part of a, like some sort of cooperative where, you know, they sell their crops to uh, the markets in the city. I really don't know. If someone does know how all of that works, you can leave a comment below and let me know because I really don't know. But um, yeah, it's just interesting. My father has a garden at our house in America. Right now it's, uh, hold on for a second, very loud. Very loud vehicle. Uh, right now my father's garden's on the back porch. Like everything's in potted, in pots. But um, when I was young, we actually had our garden um, like in the yard, planted in the ground. And I have very good memories of that. It's, you know, it's really fun to keep a garden and have fresh vegetables. So that's something that I really miss. If you live in the Chinese countryside, you can have your own garden. It's really nice out here. Check this out. If I could find a share bike, I would uh, definitely take it and see how far I could get. I don't want to get in a taxi or a DD because I don't know, like I don't have a location I want to go to. But if I had a bike, I could uh, make quicker progress and uh, see more of this place. Looks like there's some sort of construction happening here. Wow, oh, that's a big house. Wonder what's happening here. Looks like there was a house here. Maybe they're just gonna rebuild it. I wonder what a piece of property costs out here if you wanted to build a house. I mean, I imagine this particular area has gotta be more expensive than other areas because the metro is right there, you know, but I really don't know. But it is convenient if you lived out here. You can get downtown pretty easily. And that line, that line S3 goes directly from this station all the way to Nanjing South Railway Station. So it's pretty convenient. I was going to say hello, but I didn't want to interrupt her. Interesting. I wonder what oh, there's a person inside there. They stopped talking. I think they're uh, talking about me or watching me curiously. Interesting color schemes happening here. Just like I was saying in the other video, the rural China video I made at my wife's grandparents' village, there's something to be said about coming out here and just slowing down, you know, and just, because like the cities, it's loud and, you know, it's hard to, if you have anxiety, it's a great place to get more anxiety because it's just, you know, there's always noises and it's just busy, 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 but you come out here, I mean, the only sound that you hear is chickens and the occasional very loud vehicle. But besides that, it's really quiet and peaceful. You know where I'm from, people say hi to strangers all the time. Like my father says hi to everyone. He's walking down the street. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hello. And, you know, I try to be like that out here as well. Um, but I get a lot of funny faces. 
saying hello to people you don't know is, you know, it's not as common. It's a kitty. Two kitties. But I try to be friendly, you know, say hi to people and all of the guards where I live, they know me, I guess, as the foreigner who says hello every time I see them, which is not a bad thing to be known for. Nice art here. You know, I think I would like to live out here for like one week every month. I think it'd be really interesting. Just come out here, hang out, get to know the locals, and like I said, just relax. It's much, much more relaxing here than in the city. Much more relaxing. I notice a few people have these, you know, enclosed lounge areas in the front of uh, their houses. Interesting. In the summertime, I can understand it, keep away the bugs, but right now I'm not sure what that's for. I guess if you had like, uh, put a heater inside there or something, it's a nice place to hang out in the winter as well. Some really big building up ahead. I'm curious what that is. Across the street on that side is like some stores. And then on this side, there's this huge building. I still don't know what it is. Big warehouse or something. Well, it's not a warehouse, but it's big like a warehouse. Doesn't seem like much is happening inside. I'll have to go check it out. So I like hear loud noises coming from inside. We might actually be near the river. We check, I have to check the map. I'm not sure how far we are from the Yangs, Yangtze River. So my guess was correct. I just looked at Baidu maps. We are walking parallel to uh, to the river. So it looks like this road is going to take us right up against the river, which would be really cool. So yeah, there's a obvious, uh, I just think I saw something that said ship building. Maybe this is like a ship building factory or something. I don't know. Let's get a little further down and see what the river looks like over here. So this is really cool over here. Check this out. I'm going to cross this little bridge and, uh, Check this out. These places are cool. I'm tempted to walk in that gate, but I feel like I'm entering someone's property and I feel weird to do that, especially filming. I don't know if they'll be cool with that. There's a doggy hiding under here. Hey, pup. Hey. Uh. It doesn't like me. It's okay. That dog is not my biggest fan. It's funny, he was really timid and looked friendly until I pointed the camera at him. Camera shy. Looks like they're fixing up a bunch of these places. So the Yangtze River is just over there. We're still too far away to see it, but let's see if I can get down a little further and check it out. If you're watching this video and you are from this area, Definitely leave a comment below if you know anything interesting about it or anything you want to share because I know literally nothing about this area.
So it looks like this trail leads down to the riverside. So let's go. Uh, let's go check it out. See if uh, I can get a nice view. Looks like there's like a little hill here. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so the Yangtze is just behind me, but just thought I'd show you the thing here. We're in a uh, country park here. All right, so you can see some boats over there on the Yangtze, motoring along there. I gotta come out here in the summer when the trees have uh, have leaves. All right, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are from this area and wanna leave a comment below and let me know anything about it, please do. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one.